15,000 parasites, because that's what feminists teach is a baby's a parasite. The remains of more than 15,000 scumbag, terrorist, racist, parasite pieces of filth, because we're already killing them and, and then incinerating them to heat the hospital. Soylent greens made out of people. And we're already using humans for fertilizer all over the world. That's being pushed as trendy. And by law, making you be turned into fertilizer, not buried for the earth. So why not just, just, just let's read this like an anti-human eugenicist would, posing as a trendy. Aborted blobs of lifeless, non-human flesh incinerated to heat glorious UK eugenics facilities. The remains of more than 15,000 terrorist, racist, scumbag parasites were incinerated as clinical waste by hospitals in Britain with some use in waste to energy plants. New glorious system moves forward as humanity is prepared to be reduced to save the earth. All hail the robotic revolution and the merger of the transhumanist state. There, I just translated that headline for you. Now, let's read it from the perspective of a human that understands that if the babies have no rights, we have no rights. And it's part of a giant dehumanization, ultra-Hitlerian, proto-eugenics eugenics takeover. Now, let's get into it. Aborted babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals, London Telegraph, the remains of more than 1,500 dear little wonderful souls that had incredible futures ahead of them. 15,000, excuse me, I'm having... Freudian slips here and trying to reduce the number in my mind. I said 15, said 1,500, right? Let me actually just read the headline here. Aborted babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. In act of total dehumanization to lower the value of human life to below zero ahead of the giant forced mass culling the globalists are planning with the super germs they're releasing and cultivating. There, another insightful true headline. No, no, this time I'm actually just going to read the article and then analyze it after. Aborted babies incinerated to heat UK hospitals. The remains of more than 15,000 babies were incinerated as, quote, clinical waste by hospitals in Britain, with some used in waste energy plants. Continuing, the bodies of thousands of aborted and miscarried babies were incinerated as clinical waste, which some even used to heat hospitals, an investigation is found. Ten NHS trust have admitted, that's Downing Street Trust, burning fetal remains alongside with rubbish, while two others used the bodies in waste to energy plants, which generated power for heat. Last night, the Department of Health issued an infant ban on the practice which Health Minister Dr. Dan Poulter branded totally unacceptable. Why? Because they're not being sold to uh, French cosmetic makers like the Chinese dead babies are? So they can be festooned onto women's beaks? Last night, the Department of Health issued an infant ban, an instant ban on the practice which Health Minister Dan Poulter branded totally unacceptable. At least 15,500 fetal remains were incinerated by the 27 NHS Trust over the last two years alone, Channel 4's dispatches discovered. The program, which will air tonight, found that parents who lose children early pregnancy were often treated. Let me pull the staple out of this so I can read it. Without compassion and were not consulted about what they wanted to happen to the remains. Well, they take your blood worldwide without asking you and patent it and steal your genetics. I mean, they shoot you up with cancer viruses and all the major vaccines. And again, I'm not knocking nurses and nurse practitioners and doctors. Most of them are very hardworking professionals that have hellish jobs that are incredibly hard and have to be around disease all day and, and sadness all day. It's heroic what many medical workers do. But who runs it, Rockefeller Medicine from above, is prime evil, absolute the core of wickedness, uh, and it just goes on. So, so this is the dehumanization, and they they burn up four thousand stillbirths of the fifteen thousand they know of, and I'm sure it's far worse. And, and this is just all part of the dehumanization. Now, when we come back, Ukraine fears Russia ready to attack as Russia takes over military bases, naval bases, massive Arctic cold hitting. And then we've got Homeland Security exercise targets, get this, quote, free Americans against socialist tyranny. That's like in the other drills where they practice killing public school elementary students. They tell them, we're here from the pro-gun group of Republicans to kill you. So the kids hate Republicans their whole life.
I mean, that's, that's trauma-based mind control. And then the big news about the worldwide libertarian takeover that could save us straight ahead. We'll be right back. Did you know that gold and silver contain healing properties? It's true. Since the beginning of mankind's history, gold and silver have not only been used as real money, but also for healing our minds and bodies. Utopiasilver.com is your leading source for colloidal silver and colloidal gold supplement protocols that can heal and enhance your health. Call 888-213-4338 or visit utopiasilver.com for weekly discounts and sales. That's U-T-O-P-I-A silver.com. Fighting for liberty and healing one American at a time. Right now at Emergency Essentials, get free shipping on every order over $150. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere. Like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chomps for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again, that's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Welcome. Thank you again for joining us. I'm your host, Alex Jones, if you just tuned in. Coming up in the next segment, the strange revival of Republican America and how that ties into trends worldwide that we've already organically seen. And I'm not tooting our horn, but we were the first to be focusing on this about a year ago. And now it's been picked up by Bloomberg. Banker deaths leave industry concerned as coroners probe. And when I said, and it got picked up by the Epoch Times and a bunch of others, that 20-plus bankers have already died, that was a gestalt low-level number. Uh, in the last year, it's been, it's got to be like 15 Goldman Sachs high-level bankers 
jumping off buildings. Uh, you know, J.P. Morgan, uh, it, it's every couple days. So I don't know what the number is. 50, 100, I don't know. Somebody's got to look. I mean, I see it every couple days. And we've been hammering this report, and, and finally, it's being probed as suspicious. No kidding. They're being found hung. Anybody associated with Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, major globalist institutions, they are covering up folks that know where the bodies are buried. Rat holes. People they use mid-level, high-level to carry out the criminal activity so higher-ups can deny that they know what's going on. You're the first people that get killed. Little newsflash. You, know, you think you're so trusted and you're so high up in these institutions? You're dead. By your own master's hands. Because the, the collapse hasn't happened yet. Now, I said I'd cover that. I'm already covering it. That's going to be coming up. Uh, first off, let's go to DrudgeReport.com and punch it up on screen for TV viewers right now. You can see aborted babies incinerated to heat hospitals. We're going to cover that more. And then under it, a very important article out of CBS News, Vatican Chief Justice, Obama's policies have become progressively more hostile towards Christian civilization. Uh, yeah, that's an understatement. But you've got to tell it like it is. The globalists want to be God. They want the state to be God. They don't like anti-abortion groups. They don't like pro-life groups. They don't like pro-gun groups. They don't like pro-family groups. And so they're trying to make Christian churches promote abortion and promote, you know, hiring people that aren't Christians, which is an absolute violation of the First Amendment. Now, let's move on to the other article at Drudge, LinkedIn Red. We'll put it back up on screen on the right-hand side. It's the Infowars.com article that I mentioned. And this story needs to go viral, folks. This is a big deal. And right under it, oh, the drones they were denying that were already operating domestically? Drone armed with taser eyed by military law enforcement. They had these at South by Southwest being shopped to the police that face scan you and taser you in Austin. And the APD is looking at buying drones that fly around tasering you. Now, wait a minute, AP. Two years ago, you said I was lying. That didn't exist, even though I had government documents. Now, let's shift gears back into the top story. This, this article I'm about to cover does not operate on its own in some purgatory, like Napoleon on the island of Alba. This is part of the overall shift of the FBI, Homeland Security, Justice Department, BATF, local police to being commissar political officers targeting domestic dissent and chilling free speech in the press in conservative, libertarian, veteran, pro-life, constitutional circles. There are hundreds of Homeland Security memos and documents. That, you've seen it. It's in Forbes and the Associated Press and West Point. You know, they train them to, quote, take on the, 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 the Tea Party in an insurrection. Army time, stars and stripes. In the last six years, it's all gone public. It was going on behind the scenes before that. The bureaucracy was training to take on the American people. But now it's going main line. With TSA on the streets, as the domestic security force just as big, just as strong as our military, close quote, Barack Obama. That cue up that clip, I want to play it in the next segment for, to remind folks. We need a civilian security force, a domestic security force just as big, just as strong as our military. When I come back, I'm going to read this article because it's very important. And we need you to tweet it, retweet it from L. Alex Jones and from Drudge's tweet. We need you to put it on your Facebook. We, they're trying to censor us on Facebook and all these other places and trying to block our viral memes because this truth can bring them down. This can expose the treason of criminal elements of the bureaucracy ordering the police and military to prepare for war with us. They don't want them... To know, they don't want the public to know that this treasonous buildup is happening. But we're here, like Paul Revere's 21st century, warning you at InfoWars.com. You're Paul Revere's. I'm not asking you, I'm not even begging you. If you want to survive, if you want to be with the, these people, then go to InfoWars.com, get this article out to everybody. We're going to cover it when we come back.
We're on the march.